Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 10 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about update cart quantity. So let's see how can we update the cart quantity. For updating the cart quantity, uh, let's create a function inside the cart controller. Okay, so go to the cart controller and just go inside the app directory, then HTTP controllers and let's open this one cart controller.php file and inside this cart controller uh, let's create a new function here public function and function name uh, let's say function name is update cart okay and inside this just pass here the request dollar request okay and now add here the cart and set here the instance instance which is cart and now call the update update method okay Up, update and inside this uh, passed pass here two argument first is item row id and another is another is quantity okay so right here request first pass here the row id and another one quantity so right here dollar request arrow quantity and now just return redirect uh, to the route and just add here the route the route name cart dot index Okay, now save this file and let's create the route for this function. So go to the web.php file, the routes and open web.php. And here after this, uh, let's create a route here, the route colon colon, and set here the method uh, which is put and then add the URI cart slash update okay and then add here the controller name which is cart controller then colon colon class and now add here the function name which is this one update cart so copy and uh, paste here and now switch the route name so write here name which is cart dot update Okay, now save this file and now let's open the cart uh, blade file, cart.blade.php file. So just go inside the resources directory, then views and let's open this one, cart.blade.php. Um, details, just remove this file. Okay, let's open the cart.blade.php file and uh, inside this file uh, first of all let's create a form uh, after this section so just write here and uh, add the form tag form and set the id let's say id is update card quantity okay duty line and action and inside the action just uh, set here the route this route okay update card so just copy this and inside this action just add here the route and paste here this one and then method add a post now just close the form and inside this form uh, let's add here the CSRF and another one which is the uh, method directive okay for the put request so here just add at the rate method 
and then pass their food. Okay, now let's add here the two uh, header field, one for the row ID and another for the quantity. So right here input type is equal to hidden and set the ID uh, row ID and also give the name which is row ID and now let's copy this and paste here now change the ID and just write here the ID quantity Okay, and also name quantity okay and uh, inside this for each uh, inside this input number field uh, let's remove this data dash row id is equal to this right here double curly bracket dollar item arrow row id okay and now uh, let's create a javascript function for that i just add here the post directive so write here post and then add here the name which is the let's check the layout file so go to the layouts directory and open the base.blade.php file and here you can see the name of scripts okay this is tag name so go to the cart.blade.php file and just write here a scripts and then add here the script tag and just close this the script okay and then uh, let's create a javascript function function and let's say function name is update quantity okay and pass here uh, let's any instance qty and now dollar sign has and uh, let's copy this id row id and inside this input hidden field just uh, set a value using this javascript set a val dollar qty dot data and pass here the data name which is this one okay data as row id so just copy this row id and paste here and now set the quantity so just pass here this id quantity has and quantity and now call here the well this is the jquery method okay so pass here the value qty dot well okay and after this uh, let's submit this form so just copy this id and uh, right here dollar has and uh, update card quantity and now just call here the submit method okay now it's done so save this file and one more thing or uh, let's call this javascript function from this anchor tag uh, from this input field okay so from here inside this input number field just add here 
javascript event on change event so right here on change and just call this function which is update quantity okay and inside this just pass here the this all right now save this file now everything is done okay now let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page all right now let's increase the quantity of uh, this item so just click on this up arrow and you can see uh, quantity has been increased this is the item price and you can see here the total price which is six dollar and number of quantity two and you can see here also change here the subtotal uh, and total now let's uh, decrease the quantity so just click on this icon and you can see here item quantity has been decreased and also price has been decreased okay if I click one more time on down arrow you can see here product has been removed from the cart all right so uh, in this way you can update the cut quantity so that's all about update cut quantity don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching